Um, I'm from Portland, Oregon. I grew up there my whole life. Let's say I'm from the Northwest. I claim it as my own. Crazy. We're cruising. Very slow. <laughs> Living in Oregon was just super sweet. We were able to get out and do the things we loved in the outdoors. All the way up that ridge. So when I first heard that Randy and Chantel were moving out here to Michigan, of course I was stoked as their brother, um, but at the same time, I got a little bit worried for them because I was like, what are they going to do? You know, they call me up and they're saying they, um, they're at Smith this weekend, they're skiing Hood this weekend, they're backpacking the Stewart Range this weekend, they're in Jay Tree the next weekend. What are they going to do here? Like, ski the sand dunes? After two years of living in Salem and just absolutely loving every minute of it, um, the time came that I needed to get my master's degree. Um, and the school, Andrews University, that uh, ended up being the right fit for what I was looking for uh, was in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Berrien Springs, Michigan, it is not Salem, Oregon. It's not Oregon at all. Um, we first drove in and Downtown is about three businesses. Yeah, it definitely was not the the right ideal fit for um, our passions and interests, especially coming off of two years in Salem and just picking up ski touring, and now it's like we're going to to Berrien Springs, Michigan, and like what is there to do there? Uh, one of the philosophies that uh, Randy and I live by is investing in experiences over yeah. material things. As much as we were kind of bummed to be leaving the outdoor mecca that is like the Northwest, we were thinking, you know what, we're going to invest in the experiences that Bering Springs has to offer, whatever those may be. We're just going to go and make the most of it. I got a job at the uh, local climbing wall and that's been super fun. One of my favorite things that I have really um, enjoyed doing here is that there's a, a trail system really close to where we live. Six hours to the south is uh, the Red River Gorge, and we have driven in a year's time down there and back. Um, at least a dozen to 15 weekends and have ticked off like over 150 routes in the red and just we love going down there until the winter and when winter hits it's like okay now, now what is there to do so we got here to Berrien Springs and it was still warm and we went over to uh, Lake Michigan to Warren Dune State Park and it was beautiful, fun to play on the beach and I just remember looking up at these sand dunes and just thinking, wait a second, we could totally ski those things. It's possible. Even though we had only skied one season, um, probably less than 10 times in our lives, we decided why not give it a go? Uh, so yeah, end of January, we decided to head over there and see what we could see, see what we could ski.
beautiful with all the grass right here. So when I first heard that Randy and Chantel wanted to ski the dunes, I first was wondering, logistically, is that going to work? Um, the snow conditions, uh, the weather in Michigan is bizarre, so I just wondered if it would really happen. Uh, the next chance that we got to go to the dunes, it had been snowing, and we were pretty excited to get out there. Um, and we got to the dunes, and there was no snow on them. Good thing we brought our skis ready and the skins on. <laughs> I'd heard that the wind, you know, will blow stuff off the dunes, but uh, didn't think it would be like this. But uh, what can you do? No skiing today. And it was actually a pretty neat experience because we just took a moment to go out there on the lake. Um, it was really hard to walk on, um, but it was just such a surreal thing for uh, an Oregon girl to see a frozen lake. I was really excited that they got this idea because I think it's very novel. There's probably not many people who come to Michigan to do ski touring. But there could be a huge amount of potential. I mean, you never know. And if there's one person that was going to find out, it would be Randy. The wind was blowing off the lake and the first, you know, 100 yards or, or more out into the lake were just frozen. It was kind of rainy, kind of icy, definitely windy. And so the, the wind would take this mist off the lake and it just covered us with, with basically what became ice. Well, we came out here and it dumped snow last night and this morning and we thought the pile's going to be great. But it jumped just above freezing and everything solidified and then the wind picked up and we're getting blasted with uh, mist off the lake and it's Some of these days were freezing cold in the polar vortex, for example. But Randy and Chantel decided that they weren't going to let that stop them. Yeah, the polar vortex, in essence, is when a bit of the Arctic leaves the Arctic. I mean, we're talking 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds. The temperature feeling was like negative 30 outside and I was just like, nah dude, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Yeah, we got out there and we were the only ones out there. There was a bit there at the beginning where we could hardly see. Um, it was just blowing snow and ice and freezing cold. We just headed straight up, up the dune, um, just kind of just death march. Death marching up. Um, I, I told myself that I would give myself a couple runs, maybe an hour, um, to be 
out there, but somehow it turned into like two and a half hours. turns in but I mean we were just getting way too cold it was it was getting just too terrible I was worried the car would start um, our camera batteries were all dying and it was just like all right this is we're done this sucked <laughs> let's just get out of here looking ahead we, we thought that might have been the the last day out so I was pretty discouraged mm -hmm. uh, heading back. Didn't think we would uh, get another day out there. Hey, what do we got today that's different from every other time? Sunshine. Wow! sun was out, uh, the snow was great. The more runs we did, the more confident I was feeling. And I looked and I saw this long run um, across the valley and I was like, I am going to do this. And it's going really well. I'm, I'm doing my turns. And I hit this icy patch towards the bottom and I just slide out and just like hit a wall. You just see this little dot just like boom into the wall. Send it. How we doing? On the sunny day I looked up across the way and saw this kind of goalie running down through the trees way up there and I thought I'm gonna ski that. Don't know what got into me. Alrighty, here goes nothing. We'll see how this goes. I got down into it and I went to make my first turn and like each end of my ski hit each side of the goalie and I just stopped and I fell. I was like, well this is awkward. Fell again, this time my uh fell off. Oh no! Randy has lost his ski, everybody. In theory, it looked like it would be a great run to ski down, but I forgot that I'm a new skier. I'm not... I'm not... that good. Uh, that last day was the... Uh, the day that I'll look back on most fondly because it just marked the culmination of this project and this idea of don't let circumstances uh, dictate your joy but get out there make the most of it 
getting out there on the dunes, um, enduring, <laughs> having fun, um, it just really reinforced this idea to make the most of where you're at in life because um, there's unpredictable things that come but there can be beautiful days that are full of sunshine and that are super fun. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, it was awesome. I was a little wobbly, for sure. That's <laughs> that so like good. Shit. So good. We could have come here and just been all bummed about not being in the Northwest and just sat here waiting for the two years to pass, but you know, we just decided coming that we were going to make the most of this experience, not let it hold us back at all. And, um, so many awesome memories have been made here in Varian Springs. I'm realizing I'm really gonna miss Michigan. <laughs> I thought I'd never say that, but I'm really gonna miss it. <laughs> yeah, we got we got Gracie and she uh, she's a trooper. She will go out and ski with us, climb with us, run with us. Run with us. <laughs> she's a good dog. Australian Shepherd, um, a Washingtonian, also from the Northwest.